I'll walk through the steps with you on how to set up your new account and join the course. So first of all, you're going to get an email like this after you do the course registration. Uh, and this will walk you through the process of setting up your account and joining the course. So first of all, we'll come to classroom.google.com. Classroom and uh, what I recommend is if you already have a Google account that's signed into on a browser, one way to get around this is just to uh, use a different browser or you can manage, you can switch between your different accounts. So probably the biggest um, complaint that, I'll ha that we'll probably get is, you know, I can't access my account. It says I don't have access to it. Just make sure if you, uh, you're you using a separate browser or you can come to new incognito window and that just gives you a fresh browser with no logged in accounts. Okay, but I haven't logged into any accounts from this browser and so I'll go ahead and just access classroom.google.com and then the one thing I want to do here is go ahead and sign in. Just this button right in the middle and then I'll sign in with the new user account and password. Okay, so there's the new username. You'll get an email like this and I'll just uh, go ahead and type this in. Dynopt at irsri.org. So you have to be, uh, you can't just use your own email for this course. You have to have an irsri.org account. Okay, I'll select next and then enter the password. Um, and that one is just the one that's given there in the email. And it will say, do you want to save the password for the site? I'll just go ahead and click save because I'll probably come back to this again. It says, do you want to uh, accept the terms, Google's terms? And then it'll ask you to create a new password. And um, I'll just go ahead and uh, pause the recording here just while I create the new password. But just go ahead and create a new password and confirm the password. Okay, so I've created, uh, you know, changed the password. And then it comes to this Google Classroom. And I'll click Continue here. And I'll, I'll say, uh, you know, it says pick your role. In this case, uh, go ahead and pick I am a student, okay, on the left. And then it asks you to join your, you can join your first class. And there is the class, uh, the course code there that came in the email. Okay, go ahead and click the plus sign and then click the class invite code and then select join. Okay, then it will um, it'll take you to the dynamic optimization course. It'll give you a little bit of a tour here where it'll uh, take you through some of the features. But if you just click got it, then you're here. And um, let me go ahead and just close this email now. So if you ever want to come back to this course, just go to classroom.google.com and you'll be there again. Okay, and then uh, you have you know the different topics uh, that will be posted on the left there. In this case, we just have a couple introductory topics. There's a welcome to dynamic optimization with a video. So for example, you can select that video or the link and uh, there's the video and it'll open it up. Okay, and it will let you go through um, the content there. Okay, I'm going to come back here just to the classroom. And uh, if you ever, um, okay, just going back. Okay, and then here is just an introductory, uh, you know, introduce yourselves. So you have information about the project lab that we're going to be doing in this semester. And I, I'll have some default, uh, you know, groups that will be assigned, but you can move those around as well, this sheet that you'll open up here, you'll see um, the different assignments. I just made up some email addresses there, uh, but we'll have uh, between, uh, typically between three to five people per group. And you'll be in those groups to turn in your Arduino lab assignments, as well as your final course project. Okay, if you come down, um, here is practicing. Okay, this is an introductory activity, it's not graded. 
uh, but you can practice solving an optimization problem. In this case, a simple one with an objective function and a couple inequality or equality constraints. And you can do that with Python or MATLAB. And then when you're done, you can say, I solved it um, you know, with MATLAB, Python, or another one, and then click Submit. OK, and then once you click Submit, then it'll say that that one is done. And it'll show you some of the other responses of the class. You can also add a comment here. Um, if you'd like to, just um, you know, talking about the assignment, it'll show up for the other class members as well. Okay, and then here is one about optimization basics. Abe Martin put this one together, this uh, short playlist about some of the optimization basics, and I recommend that as well. Okay, and this one is um, what uh, you know describe an optimization example. What are the inputs, decision variables, outputs, outcomes that determine whether the solution is best? and constraints. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type one here. Um, so an optimization example is uh, driving my car. Okay, and the inputs would be, you know, the decision variables are maybe gas pedal position and steering angle. And then the uh, outputs or the outcomes uh, you know, what's going to be the best is, is going to be maybe, um, you know, arriving at a destination. And then constraints, um, you know, in that case, it might be a speed limit and stay on the road and maybe avoid other vehicles. Okay, so you have an optimization problem there, driving your car, you know, what speed you go at to avoid, uh, you know, stay within certain constraints, but also, you know, you want to minimize your time to arrive at that destination. I'll go ahead and click Submit, but I'd be interested to see some of your other answers for that as you go through that, uh, the optimization basics. Okay, so that's basically it. We'll have um, you know assignments posted here. We have just a couple introductory exercises and some information, you know, getting to know the other class members, and uh, you know I hope you enjoy this course. Uh, if you have any concerns about jumping on and creating this account or uh, you know accessing the content, just let me know. And we'll also have a couple other teaching assistants as part of this course as well that I'll introduce you to, and they'll also be able to help you uh, with this course.